$100 extra for that little office? First of all, McGee charges me rent, then he wants to raise it. I wish he'd make up his mind. Well, maybe you should just approach him and try to talk him down. Never. Compromise can only lead to a weakened position. What well, might lead to a compromise. I know how business works. I'm going to go in there and give him an ultimatum. Either the rent hike goes, or I do. I'm sorry to see you go, yeah, sir. Can't you two work this out? Well, I don't want to raise the rent, but my property taxes have gone up. No need to apologize. This allows me to live out a lifelong dream. Home office. Home? Who's home? Our home? It's not a home office if you have to commute, darling. This isn't over, my friend. I thought you were okay with this. I am. Just need to give you back your key. I like this keychain. Yes. I bought it in Niagara Falls. It glows in the dark. Ooh. the same without him. Hey, did I tell you I'm renting the space? I thought McGee was raising the rent. How did you afford it? I compromised with him. Then why do you need another office? Not another office. Wait for it. Mosque store. Not sure if that's a wait for it idea, but OK. Islamic books, CVDs, mm -hmm. prayer clocks, prayer rugs. Like a real mosque. It is a real mosque. I know. I mean, like a bigger mosque. It'll be a good fundraiser. For what? general fund for furthering the mission of the mosque in the community. So you haven't figured that part out yet? No. But the point is, we're going to be a real mosque. Any chance you could volunteer a few hours a week? Run to the store? Well, I suppose I could swing a few shifts. Brother Amar, I heard about the store. You have my full support. Can I sign you up as a volunteer? Stand around all day for free? Not a chance. Think about it, Bobber. You'd be spreading Islamic culture, interacting mm. with the community. Might even help your people skills. What are you to impugn my people's skills? I will not stand still for this impugning. Sign me up. Pull the old reverse psychology trick. I think he pulled it on himself. That's the beauty of Avar. Half the work's already done for you. So, what brings you to mercy? Oh, you know, just here on a little vacay. Sorry, I saw that expression in Chatelaine. I figured everyone was using it. Just. Here on vacation, doing a little fishing up at Silver Lake. Oh, you'll have so much fun. Oh. <laughs> You're not planning to eat the fish, are you? No. Oh, you'll have so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> you come from where? Ottawa. Oh, really? Hmm. What do you do? Actually, I work for CSIS. CSIL? No, CSIS, Canadian Security Intelligence Service. The spy agency? Well, spy. The people who target Muslims? Well, I wouldn't say target. Occasionally, we have a person of interest who happens to be Muslim. I mean, some of my best friends are Muslim. Who? Uh, Baruch, Abdul, Halal. Yeah, I really don't have any Muslim friends. I will get you a bill. Oh, actually, I, I was hoping to get some pie. We all hope for a lot of things. <sighs> Darling, here's what I was thinking. Corkboard, right here. But I'd see it from the dining room. Whiteboard, then. When you talked about a home office, I, I thought you meant the basement or, or the garage. The garage is your space. I would never dream of disrupting it. But this is the living room. Was the living room, honey dovey. Was the living room. Now it's my office. Are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, people who work from home are weird. You know, first you start sleeping in, then you start wearing your pajamas all day, walking around with stubble. I always have stubble. Cute stubble, not lazy stubble. Darling, don't worry. Apple computer started in a garage. Hewlett Packard started in a garage. GM started in a shed or some outbuilding, probably. So move out to the garage. But the TV is right here. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum salam. Nice store. You like it? Yes. I 
I've set it up for impulse buys. People come in for the free Islamic pamphlets, which I put at the back. So they have to go through this aisle, and boom! Prayer clock. Ooh, the prayer clock doesn't actually go boom, does it? Because that would be unsettling. Let me show you the ropes. <laughs> I stand behind the counter. People bring me things, I ring it through, and I give them change. You've done this before. I've seen it in the movies. Look, don't worry. I used to work at Fatima's when I was in school. I know the service industry. Your first customer. Wish me luck. What can I help you with today? Nothing, thank you. Just browsing. Okay. While you do, may I suggest you check out some of our free Islamic pamphlets? Good. Stop! Not that way. Through the prayer clock aisle. Home for lunch. Just as I suspected, still in your house coat. Oh, I'm sorry. I just love the smell. I, I found this new fabric softener. I did yours too. It's all folded. A suit? You, you never even wore a suit when you went out to work. Yeah, it makes me feel more professional. Plus the fact I closed a deal with Mr. Cook. I'm building a parking pad. Mmm, smells great. Well, it should. Baba Ganoush. Really? It smells like cinnamon. <gasps> Sticky buns. It's barely noon. You, you got all your work done, plus you had time to cook and bake. It's amazing how much you can get done without Amar and McGee around, you know? It's always, Yasa, do you want to hear a joke? Yasa, do you want to go out for lunch? Yasa, will you get out of here? We're trying to work. Take a seat, darling. Where should I sit? Well, anyway, just watch the ice sculpture. This is the first shift. Great. I swept the floor, counted the inventory, and cleaned behind the racks. The rack's only been up there for a day. Well, I didn't say it took long. Somehow we're sales. Very consistent. This is just a float I gave you. Yeah, OK, we didn't sell anything, but it was consistent. So what, no one came in? No, they came in. They just didn't buy anything. It was weird. Uh, excuse me. It's a store, not a library. You gotta buy something or move along. See what I mean? Well, look who is back. How was the fishing today? I see you haven't brought back any fish. Catch and release. May I see a menu, please? We'll see. Okay, is this about the thesis thing? Because I already told you I'm on vacation. A spy would say that. I am not here to spy. Look, if a dentist was here on vacation, would you think that he was obsessively looking at your teeth? No, I have excellent oral hygiene. But of course, you probably already know that. <sighs> what was that about? She's a spy. She works for CISIS. That's crazy. Who told you she works for CSIS? She did. Well, if she's a spy, she's not a very good one. What's she doing in Mercy? Fishing, or so she says. But obviously, she's here to spy on the mosque. That is what they do. But I haven't seen her around the mosque. Exactly. She is that good. Let me ask you something. I hired Rayanne to work at the store. You hired Rayanne? Yes. Why well, you ask like that? <sighs> when she worked here, she was a tyrant. I don't understand. She's usually so nice. A cash register is a dangerous weapon in the wrong hands. It makes some people mad with power. Excuse me, am I getting a menu or not? No. I always thought working from home was a bad idea, but it seems to be working great for Yasser. Uh -huh. Plus, he cooked me a great dinner. He seems so relaxed. I don't know. Made me kind of wish I worked from home. But this story, you're making me wish you worked from home, too. Can I work from home? No. Oh, come on. I'm sure it'd be a cost saving. Absolutely not. I need my people where I can keep an eye on them. Well, that's too bad, because you just signed papers saying I could work from home. Well, that's not going to work. Just because I signed something without looking doesn't mean it's binding. It's not MASH. Fine, let's take it to the Board of Review. Okay, so when I sign a piece of paper without looking at it, the results are binding and irreversible. You got your home office. And a race. Really? You signed a lot of papers. <laughs> huh.
Something is up. We are a target. Okay, this is getting stupid. I'm gonna go talk to her. Hi, I'm Amar. Wow, this is very flattering, but um, I'm not really looking for a vacation ship right now, so. Vacation relationship? Look, my friend Fatima thinks you're here to spy on us. Why would I spy on a cafe? Oh, no, the mosque. Oh, you have a mosque in town? Yeah, I'm the imam. I bet you don't have a beard. That's been pointed out to me many times. Well, I wouldn't worry. I doubt you're on anybody's radar. Good. What do you mean? Well, it's no secret that the government monitors some mosques, but they're usually, you know, big, professionally run mosques in major centers. You know, real mosques. We have 30 people. Mm-hmm. To be a hotbed, you need 40. 30 can be a hotbed? No, you can't. It's a rule. 30 can be a breeding ground. Oh, we could be a breeding ground. Well, extremism tends to be fostered by an intense, charismatic leader. So, no worries. What did you find out? That I like charisma. You needed a spy to tell you this? Well, what's going on? Just a typical shift. Oh, I see what's going on here. People don't want to buy from a woman. People around here can be so sexist. Just when you think you're changing things, something like this happens. Hi, Ryan. Can I help you with something? She's doing my shift. Package of figs, please. Oh, my first day as a home office worker. This is fun. Working side by side, I mean, leaning on each other when things get tough. Eating a big breakfast. Huh. Most important meal of the day. Good for productivity. And it's all about productivity. Oh. What's going on here? Oh, breakfast, honey. Care to join us? It's noon. I'm home for lunch. Uh, we may have slept in a bit. Well, part of is about pacing yourself. It's in. Ooh, can I try one of your sticky buns? Mm. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. Would you say I'm an intense and charismatic leader? Uh, yeah, sure. What did you want to talk to me about? <clears throat> right. I've been thinking we should get someone else to take your shifts at the store. That is so sexist. No, it's not. It's just that you have no aptitude for it. It's aptitudist. Ouch. Okay, all right. I may have been a little harsh on people, but I have a plan. Candy. That girl who hangs out at the bus station? No. Halal candy. I'm going to get a candy rack and fill it with non-gelatin-based, Islamically permissible confectionaries. Ooh, you really make it sound like fun. Oh, it is fun. And then people will like me because I'm the one who brought candy to the mosque. All right. You have my approval. Good, because the truck is coming today. That's good. You anticipated my orders because I'm the charismatic leader. The what? You know, from before. I wasn't listening. Check it out. Fish. Wow. Did you catch those? No, I bought them at the market and took them down to the water to pose with me. Why would you do that? Did you eat them? No, it's not about the eating. It's about the thrill of the hunt. Kind of like coming in here and trying to get service. Maybe she is fishing. Of course she is. Like she said, we're too rinky-dink to worry about. Of course she would say that. What do you mean? She was laying it on a little thick. You know, you could be onto something, Fatima. I didn't say anything. But you're right. You know what she said? She said our mosque was too small to be a hotbed. She said that? We could be a hotbed. You alone could be a hotbed. If she's a spy, then shouldn't we go to the bathroom, run the water? Any flower pot could contain a microphone. What should we do? We have nothing to hide. We'll just take her to the mosque and show her we're not up to anything. Although, we easily could be. Her shoe probably contains a laser. What? If she's a spy, then everything she owns is something else. Her watch shoots darts. The buttons on her jacket, poison. You know, Bobber, that was a good idea you had about going to the bathroom and running the water. I'll go now. The tour's the way to go. Whenever we have a tour of the mosque, it turns into a disaster. 
That only happened three times. Be careful. She probably reads the lips. You guys still haven't dressed yet? Hello, darling. Did you have a nice day? Mm. Yes. Love it. Very relaxing. Very productive. I've never actually seen people feed each other grapes before. We ran into cantaloupe. What does that smell? Eucalyptus. Oh, it smells like a koala bear threw up in here. Oh, your father gave me a massage. Twice. Yeah, the second one was a surprise. Okay. <laughs> that is beautiful. It is beautiful to see my parents in love. Excuse me. Oh, there's leftover quiche in the fridge. Yeah, my stomach's off suddenly. I've seen movies. That is a spy truck if I've ever seen one. It says candy. <laughs> it is full of microphones and men drinking coffee from paper cups. One of them is the Sarge. Really? And nothing is as it seems. That truck could turn into a boat or a hovercraft at a moment's notice. You're talking nonsense. If it is a candy truck, then why do they not bring out any candy, hmm? Still busy. I can't reach this Ryan guy who ordered candy. Rayanne. Guy spells his name Ray Ann. <laughs> Call again. I feel like I'm forgetting something. A piece of quiche, darling. Mmm, it is good. I'm glad you got your appetite back. Yeah, but if you guys don't stop playing footsie under the table, I'm gonna lose it again. Okay. Okay, why would I want to go on a tour of your mosque? I'm off duty. I know, but come, check us out. We have nothing to hide. Okay, I completely believe that. Trust me, I'm totally convinced that there's nothing going on over there. Yes, but seeing is believing. Really? Because believing is believing, too, and it's a lot faster. Come on. You said there's nothing there, so a tour or nothing shouldn't take long. Okay, if I do this, will you get off my back and let me enjoy what's left of my vacation? You have my word. And... You can take my word to the bank. I'm sorry, are you trying to be charismatic? Charismatic and intense. Uh-huh. Zero for two. Yeah. How can you do this? What? You should be ashamed. We are good people in there. Good, innocent, hardworking people. Are you Ryan? Don't draw your code phrase with me, buddy. I know what's going on here. Can you tell us? You should be ashamed. We are just like you. We have children. I don't have children. It's hard to find the right girl. Sometimes my standards are too high. Susan is so good for you. I don't understand why you keep pushing her away. Yeah, but ever since Enough. she... Enough! You get out of here right now. I command you to go. But we... Go, go, go! Come on. We got gumdrops to deliver. <laughs> One thing's done, you come to Bubber. Huh. Do you think working together at home is affecting our productivity? No. no. Well, maybe a touch. I really should be looking at some schematics. Well, it's hard in this romantic paddleboat ride. Grip? Mm. Get a room! Where is the candy rack? We were told there would be candy. The children are heartbroken. I'm sure the candy truck will be here any minute. Uh, perhaps the children would like to look at a pamphlet. Don't go. It's a trick. She makes you take the long way. What is going on here? We're waiting for the candy truck. There's no need. I've sent it away. What? You can speak freely now. They are not coming back. Mm -mm. Oh, I see. I finally get people to come here on one of my shifts, and you work to undermine me. You are so competitive, it makes me sad. What are you talking about? What are either of you talking about? Don't talk to her. She'll try to sell you a preclock. Oh, yes. <laughs> and this is the entryway? Nothing nefarious about it. Or interesting. Oh, what's that? Mosque store. All the real mosques have them. Huh. Why so many people? Uh, they like the store. My charisma. What do the funds from this store go towards? We 
haven't decided yet. That seems strange. Make sure you look for hollow walls and check behind all those racks. It's clean back here. I cleaned behind the racks. Another mosque tour, another disaster. It wasn't really a tour. She called for backup before we got past the entryway. I am so sorry, Amar. Are you kidding? Only real mosques get searched. We are on the map. <laughs> no pumping your fist in the air, sir. <sighs> That's weird. What is? You're not hanging off each other like a couple of teenagers. What's wrong with hanging off each other? Nothing, unless it's your parents. We decided working at home doesn't work for us. Productivity down. Well, I did fall behind with a couple of projects, but then I lost that client and things evened out. Well, if you're looking for office space, I know of a certain mosque store that just shut down. What happened? SWAT team came in. If you don't want to answer, just say so. I wonder if I should issue Reverend McGee an ultimatum. Thanks for compromising, Yasser. Oh, uh, here's your key back. My Niagara Falls keychain. <laughs> when were you there? Ten years ago. Canadian side or American side? Canadian. Uh, view is nicer. I've heard, but I've never been to the American side. I'm sure the view is great from both sides. It was a bit cloudy when we were there, so we didn't really enjoy ourselves. You know what you do when it's cloudy? No. Wax Museum. Oh, yeah. You should see Ringo Starr. Oh, yeah. Well, this is really boring. I can't believe I ruined my fishing trip for this. Would you two pipe down? Sorry, sorry. 